Hi friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm very excited because I'm going to show you the new Dior Summer 2024 makeup collection. I was able to purchase the two new limited edition eyeshadow palettes in Coral Flame and Pastel Glow. I also have two of the new Dior Addict lipsticks and I'm going to show you everything in this video. I'm going to show you close-ups and swatches in natural light. I just purchased these items and I took advantage of the lovely weather that we had outside so I started to film right away when I was outside um, before I even came home because I wanted to give you really good high quality swatches and close-ups of the palettes in natural light and I find out that when I'm outdoors um, I get the most accurate footage so I wanted to take advantage of that. If you're new here and if you enjoy beauty talks please take a moment to subscribe now also don't forget to leave me a comment so I can say hi if you're returning welcome back beautiful friends. I I promise that I'm going to try and buy these palettes. I wanted to film this video right away because this is going to be just a friendly chat of us assessing this makeup collection from Dior. I was very attracted when I saw the two new eyeshadow palettes. Unfortunately, they are limited edition and they launched at my local retailer and it turned out that I literally purchased the last palette. So these might sell out quite quickly and that's why I wanted to show you everything right away. Now, what's interesting about this collection is that it features two limited edition eyeshadow palettes. Both of the palettes look like excellent options to be used all year round for everyday use. And what I love about these two eyeshadow palettes is that they can be used safely in the office. And they are perfect for people like me who are working professionals, but they still enjoy makeup and they still want to have some fun with makeup, but at the same time, keep it very classy and very put together very elegant, office friendly, let's say. So I'm gonna start one by one, talking about the eyeshadow palettes one by one. Before that, I want to say that I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised with the quality of the eyeshadows because lately, a lot of you have probably noticed that Dior's eyeshadows haven't been very consistent and Dior's makeup, all of the reformulations, they haven't been very consistent with the quality. Some of their eyeshadows tend to be a little bit dry, hard to pick up with a brush and overall some of their eyeshadows are let's say let's say it not the best quality these two eyeshadow palettes in particular all of the five colors in each of the eyeshadow palettes is really good quality what you would expect from a high-end brand so let's go ahead and start with one by one the eyeshadow palettes we are starting with coral flame and i've already swatched the palettes because when i was on my way home i was watching them i was filming them in natural light um and I was enjoying the spring um, day, the be this beautiful spring day. So here in 333 Coral Flame is a beautiful eyeshadow palette that is suitable for everyday use for the office for all year round if you ask me and also it's a fun eyeshadow palette to use. So in this eyeshadow palette you have this beautiful selection of neutral colors along with a pop of fresh coral color. We're gonna try this one on my cheeks um, in a minute. So first I wanna talk about the palette, my overall impression, and then I'm gonna show you on my face. We're gonna try. The powders are really good quality. Right after I touch the powder, it feels silky, smooth, soft, absolutely gorgeous. This color here is my favorite. I would buy the eyeshadow palette just to have this color here, which is going to be the perfect office color, the perfect one and done color, which is like a neutral nude brown color, but it's really, really beautiful and extraordinary. You have this fun pop of gold here, which is always great to be used in the summer months. And all of the colors I think are going to combine very easily. Each of these colors I think can be used beautifully as one and done. So in the summer, let's say you can use the yellow color all over the eyelid with a little bit of the deep brown color. And then the other eyeshadow palette, again, a limited edition is Pastel Glow 933. I think that most people are going to be interested in this eyeshadow palette. Again, I think that this one is going to be very easy, very suitable for working professionals, basically for everyone, because it's not one of those really straight pink eyeshadow palettes that we've seen so much from Dior which I, I would say that are not they are fun to wear romantic but not very elegant not very professional if you work in an office like you could pull it off but you have to combine it with browns and this kind of palette is fun but elegant at the same time you have this gorgeous lilac color here I was not able to get the lilac 
lip gloss. They are going to arrive in one of my other retailers. So I'm going to, I'm going to try and buy them because I'm very interested in those as well. So there is a backstage lilac blush and lilac lip glow, which I'm dying to try. I really want to try those, especially the lip glow because I love the US lip gloss. So you have this beautiful lilac color, which is, I would say a medium lilac color. It's very tender, it's lovely, and I think this one is going to work so beautifully on all different eye colors, especially if you have brown eyes, this kind of purple or, or lilac col kind of colors, they complement beautifully brown hazel eyes. Then the biggest surprise about this eyeshadow palette for me personally was that on Dior's website and on the promo photos that we were first seeing, this one looked like a mint green color. They also have a nail polish, which is a mint green color. We didn't have it, still didn't have it. It's an interesting color, but in reality, this is not actually a mint green color. It does have some kind of a minty in the very background. But overall, I would say that when I swatch it, I'm gonna show you on my finger. Yes, there is this kind of a minty feel, but definitely it's very much photoshopped on your website and on the promo photo. So they enhanced this color. So if you are expecting a, a vibrant mint green color, this is what you're going to get. It's actually a, more like a, luminous white it's a beautiful color it has a lot of luminosity it's smooth it's silky but not really the mint green that i was expecting i'm going to give you a really good close-up now of the palette and i have adjusted my lights i have new lights oh, okay i invested in new lights so so I have already adjusted the lights every time when i film my videos i make sure to adjust my lighting so that you're seeing the colors accurately and you can probably see that this is not really a mint green color. I'm gonna hold also the other palettes next to each other. Okay, so these are the two palettes. And once again, I, I made sure that I have adjusted my lighting in a way that you're going to see everything accurately. I'm wearing a white shirt now for the demos just to make sure that um, colors are not going to interfere. So overall, I would say if you are attracted to any of these color stories, get your hands on this eyeshadow palette because it is they are obviously going to sell out. In some places, maybe faster, in some places, maybe slower, but eventually they are going to sell out. And that's why I wanted to do this initial fast impression video because the quality is excellent. And something that might be stopping a lot of people is that lately Dior haven't been consistent with the quality of their eyeshadow palettes. The quality of these in particular is great. All of the swatches were made with my fingertip and I haven't moisturized my uh, arm when I'm doing the swatches just because I don't want to enhance the colors artificially. I want you to be able what you're going to buy to be able to know what you're going to buy. Next I was able to get two new lip colors, the two new Dior Addict in 362 Rose Bonheur. This is the one that I wanted the most. And then the other one is 616 Nude Mitza. These are two new additions to the Dior Addict lipstick collection. In case you want to see more swatches of the permanent Dior Addict nude lipstick, um, Dior Addict lipsticks, I have a video right here. So here you can see more swatches of the lipsticks of the permanent line. Now about the Your Addict lipstick formula. These are the moisturizing high shine lipsticks from Dior. They are not going to be long lasting on the lips, but they are very moisturizing. They feel like lip balms. They give color to the lips. Of course, the paler colors have less pay color payoff and then the deeper colors are going to give you more color. So let's say they feel very much like Chanel's Rouge Coco flash, but with a little bit more color. The formula is a little bit more emollient, a little bit more like a classic lipstick. But overall, these are the kind of lipsticks that are going to be moisturizing. They're going to be perfect to be used um, for any kind of season. I love them actually very much in the winter time as well because they moisturize the lips very well. They also have new lipstick cases, which we didn't have unfortunately. So I will see, 
only able to buy the standard Dior lipstick cases and if I can get I am going to get some of the pink lipstick cases because they look beautiful. Right now on my lips I have 362 Rose Bonheur and I'm going to show you the other one as well uh, in the demo but first let's start with the eyeshadow palette. Okay friends now that you're closer I can start with my demo and I have a light tinted moisturizer the Sisley tinted moisturizer I have sunscreen the tinted moisturizer and then I have a little bit of uh, Givenchy powder and then the tinted moisturizer is just applied here on the center of my face and on the sides here you might see a bit of glow this is from the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter I like for my daily makeup to apply a little bit of this product right here where I'm usually going to highlight my face and just in the center of my nose and then on the rest of the face I'm going to apply a little bit of tinted moisturizer in this case I use the Sisley tinted moisturizer all of the products that are on my face are going to be in the description box but this is everything actually and a little bit of Givenchy Prisma Libre powder. If you have been watching my channel for a while you know that I usually like to play a lot with uh, my makeup. Sometimes I would apply some eyeshadow colors on my cheeks as blush or sometimes I'm going to use my highlighters as eyeshadows and I like to really show you what an eyeshadow palette can do and experiment a little. So I'm using the palettes for the first time today so we are just seeing what they can do and experimenting but initially when I saw this color the coral color I thought to myself can we use this as a blush we're going to see now because the color looks nice and pretty and I think that this one is actually going to be okay similar to the Selena Gomez um, the rare beauty soft pinch luminous powder blushes which I already reviewed and I think that this one is going to be in particular this one is going to be similar to one of the colors that I have so just a second I'm gonna get the Selena Gomez blushes and we're gonna see how it compares okay friends here they are these are the three Selena Gomez blushes that I have these are from Rare Beauty and I already reviewed these I showed you a demo on my face I compared them to the Chanel Fantasy de Chanel blush blush and also to the house labs rose quartz so in case you're interested you can see everything with the demo swatches close-ups everything um, in this video here but I think that looking at this color in particular from Dior I think that it's going to be very similar to Joy and I'm gonna get a clean brush now so that we can apply Joy on this part of my face just to see because maybe if you buy this eyeshadow palette then you can get two in one product and skip the Selena Gomez the rare beauty blushes so I showed you that these blushes actually if you apply them lightly they can serve you as a highlighter or as a blush topper applied as a blush alone these are very glowy so we are applying joy here I'm applying it as a blush okay so let me know what you think well this one is more glowing definitely this one is more glowing but maybe I could apply it um, lightly like I did really apply this one more but they kind of to be honest they kind of have similarities so if you work a little bit you might just use this color instead of joy as a blush topper like if you were to use joy as a blush topper you could as well use this color as a blush topper okay so this is just an experiment that I wanted to make now I want to use this color here the nude brown color which I think is going to be a color that I'm going to use most often and I'm going to use it all over my eyelid just to see how much of a color payoff we get and I can apply the color right away immediately this formula reminds me very much the older formula from Dior because the older eyeshadows from Dior they used to have a great color payoff and now with the new formula it all depends on the eyeshadows and the colors so with some eyeshadows you're going to get really amazing color payoff with others not that much what do you think I think I really really like this one this color here on my eyelid so I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of the dark brown 
to intensify the look. The colors blend beautifully, effortlessly. They apply effortlessly on the eyelids and I really, really like these eyeshadows from Dior. I think that it's a beautiful creation. I want to take the coral color with my finger and just apply it on top here to add a little bit of luminosity. This eyeshadow palette is gorgeous and of course I'm going to create uh, more videos, I'm going to give you ideas how to use these colors. Today we're just testing, it's all for the testing purposes so that we can see. I'm going to get the yellow color as well and use it as a highlight. And it's beautiful. I can't wait to actually use the yellow color alone with a little bit of the brown. So I'm gonna use the yellow all over the eyelid and then a little bit of the brown just along the lash line. And I think this is going to be a such a gorgeous summer look. I'm going to create more looks. I'm going to show you tutorials with this makeup collection. Today's video, the purpose is just for us to explore the collection, see, you know, guys, this um, yellow is so refreshing. It's gorgeous. I really can't wait to use it all over my eyelid alone. Okay, now all that is left is I'm going to curl my eyelashes and we're going to see the final result. But before that, I just want to try also this eyeshadow palette on the other eye. And this one is the 933 Pastel Glow. I think that a lot of you are going to want to see this color here, the mint green. How much of a, this mint green can we get on the eyelid? Because this is the color that when I was talking about this eyeshadow palette, I had a post and a lot of you were excited exactly this was the color that a lot of people were excited about. So I'm using my fingertip first just so that we can see how it's going to look the mint green color alone. And to be honest when I swatch it on my arm it doesn't look like a mint green. Now on my eyelids it actually looks like a pale mint green color but a very pale one. I actually like it a lot. Okay now I'm going to take this color here and I'm going to apply this one in the crease just to help with the blending of the mint green color. This eyeshadow palette is definitely going to be perfect for spring and summer and this color is wonderful. I think that this color in particular it helps a lot with the blending. As I expected, the colors blend beautifully. They are luminous. Okay, friends, and this is with mascara on. I only applied just a little bit of black coal eyeliner at the very end, just to elongate a little bit this part of my eye, like basically to make my lashes more visible. And one coat of mascara. For mascara, I used my favorite Le Volume de Chanel. Again, everything is going to be in the description box. So let's see this side. versus this side. I think there is too much of a lum luminosity going on in this part of my face. So I'm just going to tone it down a little bit with uh, some loose powder. Also the Rare Beauty blush gives a good amount of glow. I think that this one actually, if you are more light-handed for the summer months, this coral shade of the Dior eyeshadow palette, in coral flame is going to look beautiful like um, because it is luminous but it does not emphasize texture and now I'm going to reapply the lipstick in Rose Bonheur. I was actually expecting that this one is going to be more pink but it's actually a peachy color. It's called rose but it's more like a peachy color. So this is Rose Bonheur and I do not hesitate to buy from this lipstick formula because I really love it. It's some of my favorite lipstick formula. And can we swatch it here? I have a little bit of the blush, but still you can probably see. And I have swatches also in natural light. Now I'm going to remove and I'm going to apply 616 Nude Mitza. And this one is Nude Mitza. I'm actually going to show you the two colors next to each other here. Let me go ahead and hold the two colors so that you can see them. 
Once again, I have adjusted my lighting so that you can see everything accurately. And also I'm going to swatch them here in the palm of my hand. I'm swatching in the palm of my hand because this is the place. And in one of my videos, I actually explained that when you go in store and if you want to test lipstick, usually it's best to test the lipstick on your fingertips or, or right here, because this is the place where you can actually see it's closest to the lip color. When we go in store, we usually are going to swatch here and this part of the hand is usually exposed to sunshine it can be a little bit deeper and generally it's not the same color as the lips so if you want to see more accurately how the colors are going to look on your lips when you go in store swatch on the palm of your hand or on your fingertips even better Okay friends, and now it's time for my first impression review on the new Dior Summer 2024 makeup collection. I think that the two new limited edition eyeshadow palettes are excellent quality. If you are attracted to any of these color stories, I would say go for it. The quality is there. Each of the colors here have a certain amount of luminosity, but it's very beautiful and elegant, easy to wear. And I think that overall the colors have a very beautifying effect on the eyes. I'm very happy with the quality. This is the only thing that I was a little bit afraid of. I was afraid because Dior recently haven't been very consistent with the quality of their eyeshadow palettes and sometimes you're going to have one eyeshadow palette that has three or four beautiful colors but then one of the colors is going to be a little bit dry, hard to pick up with a brush, which you know it's always a bit of a disappointment when we're talking about luxury beauty you don't want to spend your money on something that is average quality right you want to spend your money on product that it, you are going to like you're going to use and it's going to be easy to use and it's going to be beautiful about the new lipsticks i love the dior addict lipstick formula but it's all up to you this is not a long-lasting lipstick but i think that these are beautiful colors for the spring summer months if you want to see some colors from the permanent collection i have a video right here with more swatches of the lipsticks and the swatches are made of course in natural light so you can see other colors as well but i think that these two colors are beautiful i'm very happy with my purchase because these are moisturizing colors they are shiny but not too shiny to the point where they feel uncomfortable and they feel very lightweight on the lips as well so overall i'm very happy with this new makeup collection from dior i can't wait to purchase also the lilac lip glow because I think this one is going to be beautiful and it's definitely a product that I want to wear. Let me know what you think of this makeup collection, what is on your wish list, and is any of these two eyeshadow palettes on your wish list? Do you like the color stories and have you tried them? Let us know in the comments below. I always enjoy chatting with you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video and please turn the notification bell on because I'm going to create more looks using these eyeshadow palettes i'm going to give you some ideas how to use them and i'm going to see you in my next video take care bye